Here's a very quick overview of what happened in the world of AI in the last weeks, so let's jump right into it. OpenAI lost $540 million last year, according to a new report. Some estimates suggest that it could cost OpenAI about $700,000 per day to run ChatGPT because of the large computing power it needs. Although OpenAI just secured a $10 billion funding from Microsoft earlier this year, the losses are still very significant and some reports even say OpenAI could go bankrupt in 2024. Although I personally find that very unlikely, let's hope that doesn't happen. Also, OpenAI announced to launch a GPT bot that scrapes the internet for data. This type of web crawler can search on websites for information and should be used in later versions of ChatGPT 4 and 5. But it will exclude websites that are behind paywalls or could violate privacy. And the web developers can opt out of the GPT bot by adding specific commands to their website files. This is nothing new. Search engines like Google and Bing have been already using these bots to better their search results. And Google announced a new AI project called AdaTape. Usually AI puts the same amount of effort in every task. So no matter if you want an AI to give you just a really quick summary of a small text, or if you want it to write a whole book, it will put the same amount of energy and effort into it. To make that process more efficient, Google developed AdaTape. It gives different problems different amount of attention and adjusts its effort accordingly. This will save a lot of energy and computing power in the long run. Google also added AI to its search engine, so now you can see AI-generated definitions and summaries in your search, and it will even be better with helping you with specific coding problems. Speaking of AI assistants, Microsoft also added an AI called Copilot to their Microsoft 365 products. It should be like a personal virtual assistant and can help you with things like scheduling appointments, checking emails, setting reminders, and many more. Also, last week the SIGGRAPH conference took place in LA. It's a conference about all the latest research and computer graphics and AI. And NVIDIA had a lot of announcements in their presentation there. To name just a very few, they announced a new AI chip, the Gracehopper Super Chip for accelerated computing and generative AI, which is about three times faster than the previous generation. They introduced the NVIDIA Workbench, which should help developers to customize models from different sites and then share them more easily across multiple platforms and they shared a lot more of information. I will leave the link for the whole presentation in the description. And now some maybe concerning news. There's a new AI that knows what key you are pressing on your keyboard just by hearing the sound of it. And it's supposed to be about 90% accurate. So next time when you're in an online call or something, make sure you mute yourself before you type your password in. And to smaller news, the image to video AI Runway ML now allows to produce video clips up to 16 seconds. Before that, you could only generate 4 second clips and now you can extend these clips even further. And Leonardo AI, an image generation AI similar to Midjourney, just released an app version of the product and they added the option for specifically photoreal image generation, which looks pretty promising. At last, it could be interesting to know that the US government just banned certain US investments in Chinese companies in the sectors of semiconductors and microelectronics, in quantum information technologies, and in certain artificial intelligence systems. It looks like the USA doesn't want China to have an edge in these technologies and therefore wants investors to invest into American technology and not China's. Yeah, that's it with the news today. I hope I could give you a very quick overview of what happened in the world of AI the past week. If you would like to see more videos like that, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.